Yes, Lord, you are worthy, O Lord. We are saying, Lord, you are worthy to be praised. Yes, you are worthy to be praised. Oh, yes, we are saying, You are worthy, O Lord. Daddy, we are saying you are worthy, O oh Lord. Angels are singing. Yes, you are worthy, Jesus. You we are saying, Lord. Yes, you are worthy, O oh Lord. Angels are singing. Yeah, you are worthy to be praised. Yes, Lord, you are worthy, O oh Lord. We are singing, you are worthy, O oh Lord. Father, you are worthy to be praised. Yes, Lord, you are worthy, O oh Lord. Abba, we are saying, thank you, Holy Ghost. Open your mouth and begin to call God by his name. His name is Yahweh. His name is Yeshua. His name is Jehovah Jireh. He is the beginning and the end. The I am that I am. The lion of the tribes of Judah. The beginning and the end. The Alpha and the Omega. Open your mouth and begin to call God by his name. Him alone is worthy to be praised. Abba Father, we bless you. We exalt you, Lord. Yes, Lord, we exalt you because you are God. Yes, a shadow of days, we Exalt you, Lord. Be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you because we know you alone deserve all the glory. We bless your holy name. <laughs> Be exalted, Lord, in this place. We join the 24 elders in heaven, Lord. To glorify your holy name, we join the 24 elders in heaven, Lord, to bow down before your throne. We join the 24 elders in heaven, yes, to cast our crown before you, to crown you with praises, Lord, to crown you with honor, to crown you with majesty. Lord, we cast our crown, Lord, we cast our crown, we cast our crown, we cast our crown. We cast our crown, we cast our crown before your true Lord, and we crown you with honor, and we crown you with praise, and we crown you, oh God, with adoration. Be exalted in the name of Jesus. One thing that I know, Lord, anyone that can humble him or herself before you can stand up to anyone, can stand up to anything. As we humble ourselves before you, as we humble ourselves before you, we stand up in victory. We stand up in victory against every challenge, against every attack, against every struggle, against. Anything, Lord, that we are fighting. 
victory. Lord, we stand up in victory. We stand up in victory because we need that before you. We stand up in victory before this challenge, before that problem, before that war. Lord, we stand up in challenge. You alone is worthy to be praised. You alone is worthy to be praised. Abba Father, we adore you because you are God. You are not a man that you should lie. Neither are you a son of man that you should repent. The Bible says what you say you will do is what you will do. We are here before you, Lord. Let your presence begin to rain. Let your fire begin to fall. Let your glory be seen in the name of Jesus. For one thing that I know, you will not come without a sound. Let your sound of victory, let it be heard among your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, you will not come without a sound. It is a protocol of a king. It is a protocol of a king. When a king is coming, the king will come with a sound. The king will come with attention. Yes, Lord, I know as you come down in this place, your victory will be heard in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father, I bless you. I welcome you, Lord. Holy Ghost, take over. I decrease that you increase in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I decrease that you will increase. Yes, Lord, I decrease that you will increase. Let there be more of you. 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 I hear the Lord say, reign of prosperity. Let there be more of you. Likabo shanta libarata. Rakalaba shanta libarata. And the Lord said, I should tell somebody. He said, you are prospering in every way according to his word in the book of Third John chapter 2 I prophesy upon your life you are prospering in every way your body keep well even your soul keep well I prosper in the name of Jesus and the Lord says you are prospering in every way <laughs> The Lord say you are prospering in every way. Marakalaba suta librata. Igada bakolobo suta librakalata. Iyegede makalabarata. Let your heavens door be open up. Rato librakalaba suta. Let your heavens doors be open up. Iratalata. Rekelebo suta. Let the fire of the Lord let it break open every door that needs to open for you to prosper let the fire of god let it break open every door that needs to open for your prosperity to manifest in the mighty name of jesus somebody you are prospering in every way I hear the Lord say, I will keep your body well. Before you came to this place, you were concerned about your body. And the Lord said, I will keep your body well. Hear me as I hear the Lord. No power from the pits of hell that can devour that body. The Bible says your body, it is the temple of the Lord. By the power in the name of Jesus, I said, the Lord, keep your body well. The Lord, keep your soul well in the name of Yeshua. I decree and I declare your body is secure and your soul is secure for the Bible says uh, the name of the Lord. It is a strong tower when the righteous run into it. Uh, they are saved. I decree and I declare that your body is well because you dwell uh, in the secret place of the most high. You shall abide uh, under the shadow of the Almighty. Under the shadow of the Lord, you abide. Can I hear somebody say, I abide? Under the shadow of the Lord, I abide. Under the shadow of the Lord, Likadaba Shata, Rakadaba Ratolobo Shata, and I hear the Lord says, Every doors of sorrow that are closed in the name of Yeshua. Hey. 
Maliga de Boshada da Barata, yes, Lord and Shad of Days, whatsoever that's done as iniquity, as your power is moving in this place, anything that's done as sin in the life of anyone under the sound of my voice, that want to hinder your move in the life, Lord, I plead for mercy, if there be your holiness, oh God, if there be your cleanliness, oh God, for that Search our heart, Father. Search our life, set us free from that sin from sorrow. Let the powers of sins let it be broken by the blood of Jesus. Let iniquity be cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the mercy of the Lord. Let me speak for you now. We are wherever you are in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord says to me, He said, You are prospering. In every way, your body shall be kept well. The Lord keep your body well. The Lord keep your body well. Even as your soul, He keep it well. And He prosper it. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 14, it said, Abraham blesses a man by the power in the name of Jesus. Let the blessings that is written concerning you, let it be released unto you now. In the name of Jesus, I say the devil is a liar. Every plan of the enemy to make your life frustrated by the power power in the name of Jesus. Let that plan backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. In the name of Jesus, all the heavens of your prosperity be opened by fire. Where are the warriors in this place? I cannot shout too much because this place is still empty. The noise is, is echoing. Can you open your mouth and pray? Oh, heavens over my prosperity. Open by fire in the name of Jesus. I say, open your mouth and pray. Even for those that cannot pray for themselves. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, heaven over my prosperity. Oh, pump by fire. 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 I said the devil is a bastard. You will not eat the best from it. Let your heavens of prosperity. Let it be upon. Let it be upon. Let it be upon. Let it be upon. I said, let it upon. By fire in the name of Jesus, let the heavens over my prosperity. Let it upon, 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 let it upon. In the name of Jesus, let the heavens over your prosperity. Let it open in the name of Jesus, and let it begin to rain. Let it begin to rain. Let it begin to rain. Let it begin. Let it begin to rain. Lika da ba shata, iraka da ba rata, makolo ba sunda lata, irada da da, ekolo ba shata, araka da ba rata. By the power in the name of Jesus, let the heavens over your prosperity. Let it be open by fire. I said, let it be open. I don't care to know how long, but one thing that I know, when God step in, when God step in, every sorrow turned to testimony. When God step in, everybody learned to become fruitful. When God step in, every delay turned to speed. By the power in the name of Jesus, let the heavens over your prosperity. Let it open by fire. 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 Open your mouth and pray. I see somebody. You are praying for your marriage to have an open door. And you hear me pray a prayer of open heaven. You are keeping quiet. You are telling the Lord to open heaven in your marital life, in your marital settlement. And the Lord is prospering you. And the Lord is prospering you. Let the heavens open by fire. Let the 
happen over your prosperity. Let it open in the name of Jesus. Let it open. Let it open. Let it open. Let it open by fire. I say, let it open. Let it open in the name of Jesus. Any power that is challenging your prosperity, I say, delight. The Lord said, You are prospering. In every way, you are prospering. And I hear the Lord keep saying it. I will keep your body. I will keep your body safe and secure. I say your heavens of prosperity, let it open by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, the heaven are opening. The atmosphere have changed. Legable shatter. There is somebody under the sound of my voice. When people are celebrating, you are feeling sad. And I hear the Lord says, I am removing anything in your life that are causing you sadness. The Lord is prospering you, child of God. The Bible says, Ye shall be the head and not the tail. By the power in the name of Jesus. Let the causes of the sadness, let them begin to disappear. Let them disappear by fire. I said the Lord is prospering you in every way of your life. The Lord is prospering you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let God arise and empower you to prosper. I said the hand of the Lord. Let it locate you wherever you are. Empower you to prosper. Empower you to prosper. Oh God, arise and empower your people to prosper in the name of Jesus. I said, the Lord, arise and empower you to prosper in the name of Jesus. Receive that spiritual prosperity. Receive that physical prosperity in the name of Jesus. I said, let God arise and, and let the heavens be open and empower you to prosper. You are empowered to prosper. You are empowered power to prosper. You are not a power to fail. You are not a power to fail. I am not a power to fail. I am a power to prosper. I am a power to prosper. I am not a power to die young. I am a power to prosper. Open your mouth and pray. And the Lord says, You shall prosper. In every way of your life, Likada Bashata, Irada Lakada, Ekolobo Sunda Librata, every voice that I speak, that said you will eat the best one. Let the voices be silent in the name of Jesus. Likabo Shata, I said the entire table, it is yours. You will not eat the best one by the power in the name of Jesus. Receive empowerment for prosperity in the name of Jesus and I pray for somebody any power sitting on your wet any power sitting on your increase no matter how you try, you are not lazy, but you are not seeing the increase. You are under the sound of my voice. The Lord is speaking to you. Today, I want to pray. The worst that can happen is that police will come. Today, I want to pray for somebody. But the Lord lives and the Spirit of God is alive. Child of God, hear me very well. You must prosper and move forward. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare every power sitting on your let them fall down and scatter in the name of Jesus. I say every power sitting on your wet. Let them fall down and scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. For the Bible says it said right from the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered about it. 
Oh, Liga Bashata. Ratoli Bashata. I said that devil is a liar. Rakalabarata. Every power that I city upon your word. I say by the power in the name of Jesus. Let them fall down and die. Let them fall down and die. Let them fall down and die. In the name of Jesus. Let the earth begin to open. And swallow principalities and power. Or cutting power that are sitting upon your way. Let them be dethroned by fire. In the name of Jesus. Let them be dethroned. Ye kalaba shanta, madeli bra kalaba sundalita, re de 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 ma kalaba shandada. Yes, on sit day, the power that sit upon your increase, the power that sit upon your family. I say let them be on seated in the name of Jesus. Ye kalaba shanta, every strong man, every strong man that stand at the door of your finances that stand at the door of your increase by the power in the name of Jesus. Yes, we take authority over them. I say let the sun and sort and scatter by fire of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I said any strong man, anything that stands as a strong man, strong man that sits, that is sitting, how can we shatter? That is sitting at the door. You imagine what you want to see. You plan for it and you planted it. But when it is time for you to go and harvest it, the devil is telling you, wait. He said, wait. And for another one year. Wait. For another two months. Wait. For another four months. The devil is a liar. Let the strong man. The strong man. The strong man, the strong man, the strong man, let somebody speak fire. I say, let the strong man that stand at your door of financial breakthrough, let them fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever is that covenant or threatening your foundation that give that strong man a legal ground by the power in the name of Yeshua, let the covenant be broken. Let the covenant be broken. Let it 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 be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatsoever that stand as a covenant. Whatsoever that stand as a covenant, the heart that make this strong man or this strong woman to have that legal ground, to stand at that door of increase. My eyes are open, I am seeing a door. Inside that door, there are a lot of beautiful things. And I ask the Lord, what is this? Who is this strong man and what is the legal ground? One thing that I know, the blood of Jesus. And I see the blood of Jesus. And that is something that is fighting for us by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let every satanic covenant that the strong man is holding on to, to stand at your door of increase. Let that covenant be broken. Let the 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 covenant be broken. You will not eat the breast crumbs. The Lord prepare a entire table for you. You are prospering in every way. I said the Lord prepare the entire table for you and your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, let every strong man that stand at that door of your abundance, let them be unseated by fire. They are unseated by fire. 
They are unseated by fire. They are unseated by fire. Anyone under the sound of my voice that is under inherited the cheap problem. This is what I am hearing the Lord says. He said, I am removing that inherited the cheap problem. And I am causing you to prosper in every way. Why? Because you seek the Lord. The Bible says, seek and ye shall found by the power in the name of Jesus. Let every be in hereditary, hereditary problem. Let it come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, let that covenant let it be broken by fire. Let it be broken by fire. Let it be broken by fire. By the power in the name of Jesus, we set a new covenant with the blood of the Lamb. You enter the covenant of prosperity and abundance with the name of Jesus. I say you enter the covenant of prosperity and abundance with the with the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, enter a new covenant, a covenant of prosperity, a covenant of abundance, a covenant of good health, a covenant of good weight. Enter that covenant. Let every covenant of failure let them be broken. In the name of Jesus, enter the covenant of prosperity and abundance. Enter the covenant of prosperity. And abundance in the name of Jesus. I say, enter the covenant of prosperity and abundance. Somebody enter that covenant. The covenant of our primary, of our timely deaths are broken. Enter a new covenant, a new covenant of new life, a new covenant of long life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say, that covenant of poverty, let it be broken. Enter the covenant covenant of generational prosperity in the name of Jesus. Yes, I hear the Lord says I am giving somebody generational prosperity in the name of Jesus. Let it begin to manifest in your life by the power in the name of Yeshua. Enter that covenant. Generational prosperity. I don't know the area where you are asking the Lord to prosper you and your household. That place where you are asking the Lord, Father, prosper me in this area. That place where you are saying, Lord, this is where I need to prosper. This is where I need you to prosper. The Lord said, You are prospering. And enter the covenant of generational prosperity. This is not just about money in every area of your life. The Lord shall prosper you and your household. Enter a covenant of generational prosperity in the name of Jesus. Spiritually, you prosper. I say physically, you prosper. Maritally, you prosper. Financially, Shall you prosper? Educationally, you prosper in the name of Jesus. Enter the foundation of prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you confess that word? I enter my generational prosperity. Oh, the devil is a liar. You will not eat the breadcrumb. You will not eat the breadcrumb. When the Lord told me this word today, he said, the entire table is yours. He said, now it is the time. You will not eat the breast crumb. I never knew this is how God was taking it. And the Lord said, yes, you will not eat the breast crumb. Somebody enter your generational prosperity. Open your mouth and begin to confess that word. I enter my generational prosperity. By the fire of the Lord. I say by the fire of the Lord, let that foundation of poverty, 
let it be consumed by fire 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 i take authority in the name of yeshua i break every covenant of poverty or in your father's house or in your mother's house or in your generation let that covenant of poverty let it be broken oh you covenant of poverty of my father's house you are a liar break by fire can you begin to release fire somebody that is a generation of prosperity for you and the lord is giving you the entire table let every foundation of poverty let them begin to break in the mighty name of jesus thank you holy ghost yes you will not eat the breast one. you have not liked the word can you quickly go on and like the word the lord bless those that are connecting with seed yes you enter with your husband into prosperity covenant it is done in the name of jesus if you have not liked the word can you quickly go on and like the word somebody go on and share the word with us go on and share the word as you connect yourself and say ah you mention your name say ah i will not eat the breast crumb the entire table belongs to me no more foundational poverty i enter generational prosperity open your mouth and make it a confession as the Lord take the glory, as the Lord take the praise, as the Lord take the honor, I decree and I declare upon your life and your household generational prosperity. It is your portion in the name of Jesus. Generational peace of mind. It is your portion in the name of Jesus. Generational stability. It is your portion in the name of Jesus. I say here twice you will be stable. Financially you will be stable. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare upon your life and your household, enter your generational prosperity, enter your generational prosperity in the name of Jesus. Your generational prosperity is manifesting now. Enter it in the name of Jesus. The Bible says we enter his gate with thanksgiving in our heart. When we come to the house of the Lord, we come with an expectation. We come with an expectation because the Bible says the guardian of the believer will not be forsaken. The Bible says where two or three gather, there he is in their presence. And the Lord is prospering you in this presence today. The Lord is Press for you in this session now by the power in the name of Jesus. I say the whole table it belongs to you. The whole table it belongs to you in the name of Jesus. You are feeding on God's abundance in the name of Jesus. The yoke of poverty are broken. I say you are feeding on God's abundance on the abundance of the Lord. On the abundance of God, you are feeding. The abundance of the Lord, you are feeding. By the power in the name of Jesus, you and your generation, you shall feed on the abundance of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I say you and your household, you shall feed on the abundance of the Lord. You shall feed on the abundance of the Lord. Yes, you are feeding on the abundance of the Lord. You are feeding on the abundance of the Lord. Yes, you are feeding on the abundance of the Lord. You are feeding on the abundance of the Lord. You take the entire table because you feed in the abundance 
breast of the Lord. You will not eat the breast corn. Your heart soul will not eat the breast corn. Open your mouth and begin to prophesy. Generational blessing. Generational prosperity. Generational head. Open your mouth and pray, child of God. You are feeding on God's abundance. The yoke of hunger. It is broken in the name of Jesus. I said, God did not promise you a half table. Oh, child of God, hear me very well. God did not promise you a half table. Am I speaking to somebody? He said he will prepare a table before you. God will prepare a table before you. He did not say I will prepare a small table or a half table. I will prepare a table before you. In the presence of your enemy, when the Lord prepare a table before you, generational prosperity are in that table, abundance are on that table, divine health is on that table, prosperity is on that table, salvation is on that table, rest is on that table, wealth is on that table, riches is on that table, child of God. He said, I will prepare a table before you. He did not say, when I prepare a table before you, you will begin to eat the breast corn. He said the entire table belongs to you. The blessings of the Lord comes with a full package. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare, receive the full package of God's blessing in the name of Jesus, which is a generational prosperity. He said with blessings, I will bless you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I say receive it fully. You walk in green pastures. Your land become green, says the word of God. He said you walk in green pastures. And that means your land become green. When your land is green, you will not be subdued to eat in to eat the breast crumb. When your land is green, you eat in abundance and you feed nature by the power in the name of Jesus. Receive that empowerment for generational prosperity. Receive that empowerment for generational prosperity in the name of Jesus. Receive that empowerment for generational prosperity. Shanta. And the Lord said, I am giving someone a wonderful package. You will be a blessing to many nations. What a mighty God. When I started this prayer, my body was so hard. And I said, God, this is not happening. This person is not going to eat their breast strong. The year is coming to an end and the enemy is looking at you like, what have you achieved? Tell them that the entire table belongs to you. Tell them that the entire table belongs to you. The Bible says in the book of Philippians, <clears throat> the book of Philippians, child of God, the Bible made it clear in verse 14, chapter, in chapter 14, verse 19. <clears throat> in chapter 4, sorry, verse 19. It is a popular verse which you know. The Bible says, but my God, <clears throat> My God shall supply all my needs. When the Lord said he will supply, he did not say he will supply some of your needs. He said he will supply all of them according to his riches in glory. He did not tell you that, oh, when I'm supplying some, I will give you small something and I will take the rest to another place. No. He said he will supply, but my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. I decree and I declare upon your life, Every of your needs, let it begins to supply divinely in the name of Jesus. I say your supply. I say your divine needs. Let it be supplied in the name of Jesus. And I decree and I declare you and your household, you are prospering. You and your household, you are prospering. You and your household, you are prospering in the mighty name of Jesus. And I prophesy upon you and your household. Your needs are supplied for your heavens of prosperity. It is open in the name of Jesus. I say your heavens of abundance. It is open in the name of Jesus. Your needs are supplied. Yes, your needs are supplied. 
Your needs are supplied in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare your needs are supplied by the power in the name of Yeshua. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, it says, ask and you shall receive by the power in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name. I decree and I declare a release of your supply, a release of your supply, a release of your supply in the name of Jesus enough of the scarcity I decree and I declare a release of your abundance a release of your abundance in the mighty name of Jesus that position of a beggar it is not your portion I say position of a beggar it is not your portion your supplies are released in the name of Jesus enter a position of a giver you will learn to nation. You will not borrow. You will lend your advice. You will lend your money. You will lend your prayers. You will lend beautiful things. You will lend your talent. You will lend to nation. People that want to learn, you will teach them, but you will not borrow. Yeah, me as I the Lord. Every position of a beggar, let it catch fire in the name of Jesus. I say you will not beg to eat. You will not beg to eat. Let there be a release of your divine supply in the name of Jesus enter a position of a giver you are the head you will not be the tail says the Lord you are the head you are not the tail I say you are the head you are not the tail child of God hear me as I hear the Lord God is prospering you in every way in the mighty name of Jesus enter that position enter that position a position of a giver in the name of Jesus you will not bear to feed your household I said the devil is a liar you will not bear to feed your household Soul, let your heavens of abundance let it begin to rain. Let it rain in the name of Jesus. I say, let it rain. Let it rain in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Psalm, chapter 37, in verse 25, the Bible says, I, I have been young. It said, Now I am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken? I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor he sit begging for bread. <laughs> he said, I have not seen the righteous. <laughs> I have not seen the righteous forsaken. <clears throat> Let that he sit begging for bread. Child of God, I decree a release of your supply in the name of Jesus. Every of your hanging miracle at the sound of your amen. I say, let it be released in the name of Jesus. Let it be released in the name of Jesus. It is released in the name of Jesus. It is released in the name of Jesus. That generational prosperity, it is in your household. I say that generational wet it is in your household that generational divine head it is in your household that generational love life it is in your house in the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord is prospering you in every way. Enter that position, a position of a, of a giver for heaven is supplying your needs. There is a release by the power in the name of Yeshua. Receive it. I say receive that release of your supply in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I enter my position of a giver. I will learn to nation. Me and my household, we will have nation. Me and my household, we will have the house of God. Yes, we will learn to nation. We will bring smile to faces of people. We will bring smile to our families. Yes, you will bring smile to your own self as well. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and I declare generational prosperity. 
prosperity. It is your portion in the name of Jesus. The Lord is prospering you. The devil is a bastard. They will not make you to eat a, a bread straw in the name of Jesus. For the Lord give you the entire table. Your land is green. Your land is green. The Lord supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Can we quickly open our Bible to the book of Psalm? The book of Psalm 92. I want us to study the book of Psalm 92. You are with your Bible. Open with me the book of Psalm 92 verse 12. You have not liked the word. Please go on and like the word. The Lord bless everyone connected with seed. Yes. The Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus. I see all the seed that are coming through paper, through cash, through supercharge. The Lord bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, you are your household. You enter into a prosperity covenant. I don't know why I feel that that seed is so heavy. And the Lord said, it's heavy in my heart. I don't know. I am not looking at the amount, but I'm looking at what God is saying. He said, yes, there shall be a divine and a generational prosperity through you to many nations. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You have not liked the word. Go on and like the word. Go on and like the word. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your Bible to the book of Psalm. The book of Psalm 92 verse 12. Let's read from verse 12. The Bible said, the righteous shall flourish. What did the Bible say? It said, the righteous. He said, the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cinder in Lebanon. He said, those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. Hear me. Hear me. This is the generational prosperity the Lord is talking about. We are in a generation where people want to turn old age to sickness. So when somebody is 50 years, automatically he or she must have some kind of sickness. 60 years, 80 years, people go on pension. They can no longer enjoy their pension. The moment they go on pension, the next thing is sickness. This is the plus of the enemy to make people to eat their breast strong. Old age is a gift. Old age is a blessing that people want to see. But unfortunately, many people who get to their old age, the devil want them to start eating breast cream. The Bible did not tell us that, oh, we will grow old. <clears throat> Everything is going to be sickness. Everything is going to be difficult. He said, even in old days, read your word. Read the word of God. You will get this understanding. There are some persons they look at their, they look at people, they're like, oh, because he's 90. Oh, because she's 85. Oh, because he's 96. That is why he's sick. No. God did not say old age come with sickness. He said, with long life will I satisfy you. It is a satisfaction of life. He said, with long life, I will bless you with that long life and I will satisfy you. It is a, there is satisfaction that comes with long life. So should people not start dying young because old age is not, they have turned into sickness. When the foundation is being destroyed, the righteous need to pray. When you see this is how the world is not playing out, it is time for you to secure your household and say, no, generational prosperity of long life, it is my portion. Wisdom is profitable to direct. It is not everything that is acceptable as a child of God. People might be accepting it as sickness. They might be accepting old age as sickness. That oh, when somebody is old, automatically you have to be sick. No. You need to tell yourself that me and my household, we will have generational prosperity. And in that generational prosperity, the Lord is giving us the entire table. The entire table, long life and divine health is in it. Because the Bible says that you will flourish. Hallelujah. He said, he shall grow old. He said, those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the court of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. It didn't say they shall grow old and be decaying. It said they shall be fat and be flourishing. When we talk about generational blessing, you have to understand that it's beyond money. It is beyond words. There are family that live long. 
that live long, that are family when they are growing. When you, you know, people look at them, they're like, ah, these people, they are never sick. They grow old and they are strong. This, they are human beings. It is the same God that created all of us. And you are one of those people that the Lord is giving that generational prosperity. Hear what the Bible says, because when I was praying, this is what the Lord told me. He said, I did not say old age will be attached to sickness that does not have solution. He said, he said, they shall bring forth fruit in old age. In old age, they shall still continue to live in abundance. They shall still continue to live in the green land. They shall still continue to be the head and supply and even help others. They shall still continue to be solution to others. The Bible said, test and see that the Lord is God. He said, test and see. So when you serve the Lord and remain in God, there is a blessing that come with it. And this is one of the blessings that come with it. A long life with fruitfulness even in your old age. Hallelujah. The Bible says they shall bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. Hallelujah. Say to show that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. Child of God, I decree and I declare upon your life. Wherever you are from today, according to the word of God, the Lord satisfy you and your household with old age that will flourish in, in fruitfulness. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say with old age that will flourish in prosperity and in divine Head. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord is prospering you. The entire table is what the Lord is giving to you. Receive the entire table. And that entire table, every blessings are on that table. The weight that you seek is on that table. The divine health that you seek is on that table. The prosperity is on that table. The increase is on that table. The rest is on that table. I said the expansion, it is on that table. By the power in the name of Jesus, receive it by fire. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and make a declaration. I receive the entire table of prosperity for me and my household in the name of Jesus. The generational prosperity. It is my portion. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Wisher of this. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I pray for you. I pray for you. The door of our borders that God has opened for you. No power can shut it in the name of Jesus. The door of divine supply that the Lord has opened for you. No power can shut it. In the name of Jesus, generational prosperity, it is your portion in the name of Jesus. Can you just begin to give God glory wherever you are? Yes, that generational prosperity, it is your portion in the name of Jesus. It is your portion in the name of Jesus. It is your portion in the name of Jesus. And the Lord said, this person that is always scared of death, Go and read this verse that we just read. This is going to be our test. In long life and good health, generational prosperity is your portion. You are not permitted to die. In the name of Jesus, the devil is a liar. Yes, they lie. Yes, the light child of God. You will not eat the breast crumb. The entire table belongs to you. Can you begin to bless the name of the Lord? Can you begin to give God the glory? Can you begin to give God the praise? Open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Yes, worship the King of glory. Worship the King of glory. Glorify the name of Yeshua. Can you return that glory? Yes, return all that glory to Jehovah Yamashak. Yes, return that glory. Lord, we return that glory. You alone deserve the praise. You alone deserve the honor. This generational prosperity, Lord, that you have given to your people today. 
No power will steal it in the name of Jesus. They are covered with the blood of Jesus. And I decree and I declare, as the Lord lives and the Spirit of God is alive, eh, the doors of prosperity, and it, as, as it is open for you from today, you shall return with a testimony of it in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, we shall of this. Thank you, Abba Father. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. It is done. Hallelujah. Can we celebrate God? You have not liked that video, please go on and like the word of God. Share the word of God with us. The Lord bless you. As you share the word with us, God will bless you abundantly. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. You are led to connect with a seed. You can go on and do that through paper, through cash app, through super chat. You can call your seed, your seed of generational prosperity. And God shall honor your sacrifice. Grant the desires of your heart in the name of Jesus. You are led to pay your tithe, your offering in this ministry. Give donation, whatever you are led, you can also do that. The Lord bless all my partners, wherever you are, in the name of Jesus. God bless those that are joining our membership. The Lord bless you all abundantly. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Can we celebrate God? Somebody celebrate God. Somebody celebrate God. Can we celebrate the King of Kings? Celebrate the King of Kings? Celebrate the King of Kings. Yes, celebrate God. Let's celebrate God, give him glory. Yes, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Give him honor, give him adoration. Yes, celebrate God. We give God the glory. We give God the glory in the name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory of our Father. Glory of our Father. Glory of our Father. You are under the sound of my voice. You are not born again. Please, can you come to the other side? A life without God is hardly a life at all. What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and he loses his soul? Before I pray a prayer of salvation, I want to pray for somebody. You are sick or you are collecting somebody to hurt. I want to pray for you. The Bible says, by the Christ of Jesus, we are made whole. I decree and I declare upon your life. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, receive that divine head in the name of Jesus. Receive that divine head in the mighty name of Jesus. We cast out every form of sickness from your foundation in the name of Jesus. Generational divine head. It is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus Christ name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, O God. We thank you for it. Be glorified, Lord. Thank you, our Father, for satisfying these people with long life. Yes, Lord. Divine head, it is their portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, we shall not this. For in Jesus Christ name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. You are under the sound of my voice. You are not born again. Please come to the other side. A life without God is hardly a life at all. What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and he loses his soul? Child of God, hear me very well. You will not lose your soul. On this earth you shall prosper. On the last day the Lord shall be pleased with you. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you. Can you say this word after me? Lord Jesus, I come before you today as a sinner. Just as I am, Lord, forgive me my sins. Erase my name from the book of death and write my name in the book of life. I believe that you died on the cross of Calvary. On the third day you were risen. You sit at the right hand of God the Father. I decree and I declare from today that I am born again. I am a child of God. For in Jesus Christ's name, amen. You say that prayer, congratulations. Heaven rejoice if one soul is saved. In this ministry, we encourage reading the word of God. Because a Christian without the word of God is empty. Though I have mentioned the text before, our text in this session is the book of Psalm. The book of Psalm chapter 92 from verse 12 to 15. That is our test in this session. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Yes, season greetings to all of you. God bless you. I believe a lot of us are doing shopping. A lot of us are doing decoration. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Yes, God bless your seed. 
of God bless all the seed for generational prosperity. I present all the seed that was sown in this ministry before God. Every seed that was sown in this ministry before God. I pray that God I honor look upon your sacrifice. Give you that generational prosperity in the name of Jesus. And I pray that this door shall open, this seed shall open doors of generational wealth for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I say this seed shall open a door of abundance for you in the name of Jesus. You reap in thousands, you reap in hundreds, you reap in millions in the mighty name of Jesus. Your seed will not die. Let it blossom into abundance in the name of Jesus. I cover your givings with the blood of Jesus. The devourer, the devourer I rebuke for your sake. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, child of God, you shall return with a testimony of generational prosperity. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless everyone that came to prayer session. God bless you that help us to share the word. You that like, the Lord bless you. And you that sow seed in this ministry, that partner, that join our membership, God sees all the sacrifice that you are making. It will not be in vain. The Lord bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for you, child of God. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. I pray for you. The guardians, the Lord is guiding you. In protection, the Lord is protecting you. Preservation, the Lord preserve you. You're going out, you're coming back, you are blessed. I pray for you, child of God. Your foundation shall enjoy generational blessings, generational prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord give you long life. The Lord give you joy. And the Lord give you peace of mind in the name of Jesus. Everything that stands as counter-attack, it is rebuked in the mighty name of Jesus. In this season, you will not mourn. The Lord shall give you a reason to celebrate. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen and amen. You and your household are safe and secure. The enemy will not use your blood to balance their account. They will not use the blood of your loved ones. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen, hallelujah. Can you say to yourself, my head is blessed, my hands are blessed, my feet are blessed, everything about me is blessed. I am the Lord's anointed. My head and my glory are not for sale. You are the anointed of the Lord. The enemy will not buy your head. They will not buy your glory. God bless you, family. God bless you. I love you also so much. God bless you.